Greetings. Today I'm going to take you to the Route 66 ghost town of Boydston, Texas, a place inspiring the 66 ghost towns movement of the Route 66 suite. Boydston dates back well before the Route 66 era. Here we find it on this 1892 postal map. And by the time 66 came through, officially November 11th, 1926, it was already an active community, although a very small one. Here's a little clip from the Groom News. It was also reported in the Groom News that the editor of the paper attended church in Boydston in August of 1926, so there must have been a church there as well. There has been little agreement of how Route 66 first came through the area of Boydston. On this map, I've drawn a different color for each element I've found by a different author. And this is before Jim Ross released his Deep Tracks maps, which actually adds yet another possible alignment. So it's possible that 66 went westbound down County Road B, and at the intersection with County Road 4, there was the Boydston School on the northeast corner. I was able to look at old newspaper clippings and property maps to determine that. And the very first Christmas in the Route 66 era, the Boydston School hosted a Christmas program the night before Christmas. But the Boydston School did not last very long into the Route 66 era for citizens' petition to merge it with the Groom School. It must have passed because I saw it for sale the very next year. Notice the location, southwest corner of Section 23. And that's where County Road B and County Road 4 intersect. And Groom's Community Club must have purchased it because they turned it into a clubhouse and gymnasium. So that clubhouse and gym may have been along Route 66. The Texas State Historical Association said that John Fraser had opened up a store and the population was around 10 at this time. Does that mean those 10 all lived around the railroad tracks there? Or is there a radius? I don't know. In 1923, the road did go to the west here and turned up four, as shown on Jim Ross 66, but also on the same map, it shows another possibility of it going north to Boydston. That would be the same as this 1932 map. Regardless if it went to the west or north, it still went through this area known as Boydston. But like most small towns, the important area would have been along the railroad tracks. There was a post office, and I assume it was at the railroad tracks, and it was there for many years, all the way to 1940. Reportedly, the population had quadrupled by this time and that there were a couple of businesses. One of them may have been the Fraser Elevator operated by John Fraser's son after he passed away. And this was advertised for quite a while. And in fact, all the way until 1973, I was able to find mentions of the Boydston area in the Groom News. These days, there are people that live in the area, but there really is no activity that happens centered at this area around the former railroad tracks. For more videos about Route 66 ghost towns or other places inspiring the music of the Route 66 Suite, become a patron of the Route 66 Suite Patreon at patreon.com slash Route 66 Suite. Thank you for watching.